Okay, guys, so it has been some time since the last time I have recorded here. The pack has updated once again. It's just a little update. I don't think it changed too much. Uh, but in between when I recorded last, I uh, did a fair bit of mining, and uh, I, went, I mainly wanted to go out and find a heap of uh, veins so we can mine a heap of material. I mean, that's really what we're going to be needing for the next uh, little bit here with build craft and all that. But I managed to get a heap of sparse ores as well, and I found a heap of this as grid diet. I don't even know if that's how you say it properly, um, but I want to find out what that is first off. So let's go ahead and do that. I think you can craft it with a book. Maybe. Let me just turn my volume down a bit here. It's a bit loud in my own ears. I think you can craft it with a book and you get this manual. So I'm not actually sure what this is. Thor manual. Hmm. Materials. I like how this is uh, all the way inside the GUI. Arepatio. Steel. I don't exactly know what this is. I'm going to have to read up on it, I think. Uh, how do I go back? Some tips. Okay. So this looks like it still needs a bit of uh, work, this book. Oh, well, I'll look into that off stream. Uh, another thing we did was there was a lot of mobs that I encountered, a lot of silverfish in particular. I've got a heap of these uncommon and common loot bags. So I'm going to open these up and see what we get. I have no idea what that is. We've got some melon seeds. Fair enough. It's a, an apprentice ring of ignis. Interesting. Some aluminium ore and some gold ore. That's always handy. I'll put the ring on because why not? Um, another common bag. Let's open this up. A title scroll. Equipped in the title slot. Seeker of treasure. Oh, that's cool. And another drawing rack, which we haven't put to use much. Um, what do I put the title slot? Where is that? Um, <laughs> I have no idea. Can I right click it or something? I have no idea where the title slot is. You guys are going to have to tell me. Because I literally don't know. Um, oh, there we go. Title slot. Did that give me XP or something then? Oh no, it just put that Seeker of Treasure. That's pretty cool. I wonder if it actually... Oh, I'm not going to be able to tell because it doesn't show my own name. Um, well, there you go. Okay, so we've got three more to open. A little bit more gold, wheat and rotten flesh. Cool. Um, get these uh, more uncommon bags. I think there's better treasure in the un uncommon ones. Some grapes and a helmet. It's all right, I'll melt the helmet down because I actually made my own helmet out of iron. Um, all right, one more bag, another ring, and a Thormanomicon. Awesome, well, we don't really need that just yet, but it's nice to have it. Let's put another ring on because why not? Um, we'll store all of these things. I have no idea what that is. Mm, some sort of crystal from Chromaticraft. I like how it's all gibberish, but uh, <laughs> we'll figure that out eventually. Um, so the veins I did end up finding from my mining trip, I'm going to sleep through the night really quickly. I ended up finding a gold vein, I found a tin vein which was absolutely huge, uh, and I also found an emerald vein, um, so that was pretty cool. Um, what else was I going to do? I actually made myself uh, some of these tanning racks as well. Uh, the recipe for those are pretty straightforward, like we would have seen previously. So some sticks around a bit of string. So I made two of these. So I'll demonstrate how they work. I actually made myself enough leather or some leather pants. Um, but you take your, uh, where are they? Raw hides. And you can actually apply two raw hides to each tanning rack. So one on this side and one on the other side. Now you wait for them to, to grow a little bit. And uh, Bob's your uncle. But I also managed to plant a few more of these um, industrial hemp plants. And I've been using those to get... Um, string, so that's been pretty helpful. Um, what else was I going to show you guys? I had a few things all planned to show. I think the next step will be upgrading our tools and then figuring out a path towards um, advancing in the book. So obviously we're going to need to get ourselves um, a heap of these exceptional tech augments, like I explained at the end of the last recording. Uh, and to get those, we need to get a few things from Buildcraft. Now, I've seen there's a heap of additional things for Buildcraft, which we have to unlock through the tech tree as well. Um, 
So, but we're gonna have to look at getting a power system going. Um, we might be using oil for that. I'm not too sure. Cause I, when I was exploring earlier, I went all the way out to sort of this direction and I'm not so sure whether we'll see on the map. Let me try and zoom it all the way out. Yeah, see how there's, well, there's even some oil in that direction over there as well. So uh, we might try and do that, um, but I'm not too sure. But there's plenty of like these basic machines and stuff. Um, and I'm not quite sure how you unlock build craft additions. I think it's, yeah. So we need to get enough of these augments anyway, before we go ahead and do that. Um, but I'm gonna have to come up with a plan on how we're gonna get there. Uh, but I think what we're gonna do for the next little bit here is get ourselves some replacement tools. I actually upgraded this thing a little bit once I was uh, doing all of that mining, looking for those veins, uh, trying to get it to, it actually leveled up to master level, but there's heaps of skill XP still to go. So I wanna replace it with a, a better, better material though for now. So because we don't have any, oh, actually I'm gonna put this raw gold onto process upstairs before I forget. So let's go do that now. I wonder if you could put it on multiple sides. I don't know. I was gonna chuck all that on like we did last time. I'm gonna get rid of that as well. Make it a little bit nicer looking. That thing is gonna be loud. I should not have put that on just now. Oh well, that happens, I guess. So you can already see our leather. It doesn't take long for it to, to grow. Well, to dry out anyway, so. Leather for days. Okay. So I guess we're gonna replace the tool sorta of thingos. Wow, that was not <laughs> a good explanation. We're gonna replace the parts on our tools to make them a bit better. Um, copper, have we got much tin? Because if we've got enough tin, we could probably make some brass tool heads. Oh, we've even got some nickel. We do some nickel ore and some iron ore. We can make ourselves some invar tool heads, I'd imagine. Let's have a look. Yes, look at all this, all these invar tools. I'm not actually sure if it's too good. Um, mining level 10, it's not exactly amazing. Oh, bronze. I think bronze might be better. Hmm. That's a crossbow head, not a pickaxe head. <laughs> um, over here. Mining level redstone, so yeah, it, it is better. I think we're gonna make the bronze Pickaxe head. I mean, we could go for steel. So what's the hmm, mining level redstone? 6.5 speed, 3 or 4 durability. Remember that, because I'm not going to. Obsidian level. See, that's even better than redstone. Ooh. Can we make some steel? I think we've probably got enough material to make some steel. Steel. Because um, we only need one ingot of that to... to pour into our cast. I think we're gonna go with that, guys. And it's, mine's a bit quicker. So steel steel is definitely the go here. Um, so we're gonna need some charcoal for that. And luckily enough, I cooked some up because I thought I might need it, but uh, <laughs> there we go. Um, we're gonna get some iron cooking up. I'll have to take that out eventually as well. So where's this thing? Oh, wow, this thing is still chowing down. Uh, we needed sand for that, didn't we? Let's go grab some. Need to get our sort of like cobble works going. I don't know how well that's gonna work with all of these mods being locked, uh, getting a cobble, step, cobble gen going. Probably might be a bit tricky. Um, and that's what I've noticed, like just going through and reading more information about this pack. It's very, uh, the progression is very, very structured compared to normal Minecraft where you just go for it. But uh, I mean, it's a bit of a challenge. And that's what I, I'm, I'm liking about this pack as well. Trying to come up with better ways of, or different ways of progressing, so. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it as well. Okay, so this is melted. I'm gonna have to go get, we're gonna have to make another, ourselves another one of these tables. I think uh, at some stage, there might've been one at the castle or the temple, sorry, but I can't remember. So yeah. Um, all right, let's get this table down. Ingot, go. Uh, and then Actually, we should melt up some of that gold so we can make the cast first. It's actually, because I think we could pour straight into the cast out of this thing, but I'm not sure, so I'm gonna have to find out.
Got four, four gold. That's not too bad. But we have that massive vein there, so I'm not too worried. So, to make our pickaxe head, we're gonna have to make ourselves a... No, we're not gonna have to make ourselves a, st a stencil because we already have one. Like that. So we're gonna have to make a blank out of some stone. So then we'll put that into our casting table, wait for this gold to cook up, because we need two gold um, to cast into it, an, an ingot, well, into a cast, sorry. So, yep, that turned into four more. Oh, no. Switch that over to make sure it's on the bottom. Awesome, awesome. All right, and then we'll take the faucet with us. Place that down. Whoops, wrong one. Put the pickaxe head cast. That should have a pick uh, a bit of whoops, steel ready. Yep, so I'll cast that up. Nice little upgrade. So to to upgrade the pick and not lose your modifiers, make sure it's fully repaired. Yep, I need another piece of flint. Fully repaired. And then in your table, you can just put the same thing in and it'll upgrade it to obsidian. So that'll give us uh, probably a little bit more speed. So it's at morning 16. Yeah, it's given us three more speed on the upgrade. Um, what else has it given us? We can mine obsidian now, which is good. So we'll be able to go to the nether. Um, so yeah, we can actually upgrade the handle and the other stuff like the binding as well. Um, so we'll see if we want to do that here soon. I'm not too sure if we will. Um, ooh, give me that back. So we can mine pretty much everything now, which is awesome. Except for the stuff in the nether. We might need to make a new pick for that at some stage, but uh, we'll see. All right, I'm gonna get the rest of this iron out and make a bit more steel. See how we go. And I'm not sure whether we'll upgrade, oh, we might upgrade the rest of the tools. I'm not too sure. I think the pickaxe was the main one for now. I wanna go ahead and make um, a hammer and stuff at some stage to do some strip mining. Oh, I, <laughs> I uh, keep doing that. That's so frustrating. Um, but we'll see. So what I'm going to do, guys, is take a quick break. Did a little bit of a, a good segment here, discussing a few things. When I come back, we'll keep working and probably start progressing towards some build craft stuff. So don't go anywhere. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to get started on next is a little bit of uh, preemptive work for immersive engineering, because I dare say we're going to get into that eventually. We've already unlocked a heap of the stuff for it, but uh, I need to get a heap of sand here to make some sandstone. Uh, mainly because we're going to get started with making the coke oven. Now, I've already got the bricks cooking up back at the base, uh, but I need to get a little bit more clay and a little bit more sand. So, yeah, that is what I am working on at the moment. I also upgraded my pick, no, my shovel, to sh uh, a steel shovel here. So, uh, it's going to be a little bit quicker, but, uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. So, I'm going to probably shut up for a bit and let you guys enjoy me digging some sand, because I imagine that is uh, amazing to watch. So... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit once I've dug up all of this sand. Alright, I think I've got everything I need now to get this thing crafted up. Let's grab all these bricks out of the furnaces and grab all this clay. We definitely have everything. So I want to make two of these. So I've got enough for 27 of each, which is three by three by three. I'm pretty sure. So grab all of those and we'll go set these up outside somewhere. Now I'm pretty sure you can put charcoal straight in, but I can't remember if it's charcoal or it's wood. What's well, one of the two for sure. Um, next thing we're gonna need to make though as well is the hammer from immersive engineering just to get the ball rolling here. Um, I can't remember the recipe for it off the top of my head and I can't see it at all. Um, tell me I am just blind. Where is it? <laughs> um, there we go. I was looking for the wrong one and it is blocked. I can't, can't open, I can't, wait. Okay, well, this isn't gonna work. We're gonna have everything we need here, but I'm not gonna actually gonna be able to set it up and actually let it work because uh, we don't have the hammer unlocked yet to craft it all up, which sorta 
It's less than ideal. <laughs> But uh, yeah, the main reason for getting these going is we're going to need to get a heap of creosote oil. So that is my reasoning behind it. But obviously we don't quite have enough materials here yet for it, so... Can't craft the hammer just yet. So what do we need to unlock? We need to get... Some immersive engineering stuff. And it pretty much unlocks all the power network. So I'm guessing that's in the tech tree. Let's have a look. Ah, yep, that'd be it. All right, well, there goes that plan. So these things are ready to go, <laughs> but we can't use them just yet because you need the hammer to right click on the faces and that'll um, set them up and running and we can chuck our wood and stuff in. Oh, well, we're gonna have to wait till uh, a, bit, a little bit later before we can actually use those. So yeah, that is it. All right, I'm gonna figure out what we're gonna do next. I'll be right back. Well, 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 look what we found here. So I did a bit of caving right underneath our base. It's kind of just like up there a little bit. And I got so lucky, I found one hard silver vein, which is awesome. So we get heaps of silver out of it. But not only that, but we found a little nickel vein over here as well. So in the shortest amount of time, in terms of like five minutes running around in a cave, I actually found some decent veins. Um, and I think this might be uh, a better quick way of finding big veins, just to go in caving and seeing what we can find that way as well. So that's incredible. I thought I'd show you guys, but I've literally just <laughs> jumped down here and found two veins right next to each other. So I'm going to mark that on my map because that's pretty cool. Uh, it was silver and what was it? Silver and nickel. New waypoint. Silver plus nickel. So yeah, sometimes you get super lucky. Um, I didn't even mean to find these things. I was literally just running around seeing if there was anything to find and uh, there you go. So a bit different and uh, finding more sparse ore all over the place. I thought I'd show you that real quick. I thought that was pretty nifty. We're gonna have to find a, a diamond vein before long because uh, for Buildcraft to craft those augments, we actually need to make lasers and an assembly table. And those things require diamonds, which is a bit of a pain in the butt, but that is what it is. Uh, and diamond veins, if the chart is correct for uh, the new uh, on the Divergence website, diamonds you could find at about Y level zero. Uh, in terms of these big veins, so it might be a bit tricky to find them, but uh, we'll see how we go So I thought I'd show you that uh, I'll leave you to it All right, so I'm still caving guys and I did see something with that name tag So you can see it over there. I wonder if we're gonna find out what it actually is This could get dangerous It looks like a zombie of some kind, but I don't really know uh, I need to get some torches though because I don't want to go over there blind as a bat even though we've got bats flying around everywhere. Um, coal, where is some coal? Should have brought more with me. Hmm. These caves are pretty complicated. They're all over the place. I think we're just about back where we were. Made a full circle. All right, let's, let's be a bit dangerous here. Let's see what we can find. I don't have that good armor at the moment, so it could get a bit tricky. And swimming in this pack is extremely difficult. I've, I've noticed. Oh, let's see what we can find out. Let's see what's up here. Obviously very dark here. I don't even know if you guys will be able to see it. I'll be able to tune it and post though to be able to show you guys what I can see. All right. Don't kill me when I'm making torches. All right. We're good. We're good. Oh, it's over there somewhere still. Yeah, you can see it. Okay. Doesn't look like there's much up here. I'm gonna grab this coal. Maybe we can sneak attack him. Probably not. Okay. Who knew caving could be so interesting? I wanna get rid of this water because it is being a pain in the bum. Trying to swim through it is not the easiest. All right, here we go, guys. Oh, we're out of torches again. Oh. That's an android. Rogue android, okay. He has got a lot of health. Oh, we're gonna farm this guy though, look at this. So this must have something to do with the guy that we talked about earlier. Got an android leg. Matter out of a drive. So, do you remember in one of the first episodes, we went to the village and we found the guy that asked us if we wanted to become an android? That might have something to do with it. Don't really know though. That's cool. Nonetheless. All right, well, I thought I'd show you guys what that was just in case it was something oh, really interesting. Uh-oh. 
What a skeleton. Oh, he's caught me out off guard. That's all right. Ooh, a rare loot bag. All right, please give us one of those discovery thingo mementos. Ah, just thormium and a mundane power catalyst. Nothing super, super amazing, but uh, oh well, maybe next time. All right, guys, so we're all out of time for this episode. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure you leave a like down below. And if you're new, subscribe to the channel. You get updates on when all my new videos go out live. Also, check me out on all of my social medias. All the links are on the screen. That's going to do it from me. I will catch you all in the next episode.